QuickBooks Online 2022 Report Customization General Category. Get ready because it's go time with QuickBooks Online 2022. Online in our browser, searching for QuickBooks Online Test Drive, going into the test drive and then searching for the United States version of it and verifying that we're not a robot. Sample company, Craig's Design and Landscaping Services, holding control, scrolling up just a bit to get to that 125%. We're also going to have the free 30-day trial version open just so we can look at the business view as compared to the accounting view. If you don't have access to this at this time, that's okay. We're going to use it more in the second half of the course. Back to Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. We want to open up our balance sheet our income statement and our trial balance by right clicking on the tab up top we're going to duplicate that tab we're going to go back to the first tab and duplicate it again right click and duplicate one more time back to the first tab right click and duplicate the tab again as those are formatting also just note that when i go over to the business uh, view over here as opposed to the accounting view you could then go up to the reports which is in the business overview section and you have your reports down here so it's a little bit different of a layout but once you're into the reports it's going to be the same type of stuff in that area if we go back on over to craig's design and landscaping and now we're looking at basically the accounting view versus the business view so we're now in the accounting view and then we're in the reports on the left hand side and we're searching for the favorite report starting out with the balance sheet report and then we're going to customize the range up top from 010121 to 123121 and run that report closing up the hamburger going to the tab to the right going back down to the reports on the left hand side this time the p and l profit and loss also known as the income statement changing the date range from 010121 to 123121 and run it and then finally the report to the right hand side with the tab on the right going to the reports down on the left side where this time I'm going to type in trial balance which is in essence the balance sheet on top of the income statement without all the subtotals we're going to then range change it from 010121 to 123121 and run it i was running closing the carrot and let's go back to the balance sheet on the second tab and now we're going to be looking at last time we looked at all the options that are kind of in this header up top as well as these options down below now we're going to look at the customizing area which has a few different options and has a couple repetitive ones as well so we're first going to look in the general so note you have the general category you've got the rows and columns you've got the filter and then we've got the header and the footer we're going to start off in the general area so the report periods this is a repeat of what we all always already have on the left hand side so we already Already have this information so I'm not going to go into that again we saw that in the prior presentation we then have some of the new stuff we have the divide by 1000 so if you have a large dollar amount of reports then you might divide by a thousand so if I enter that then we're going to have the lower dollar amount so divided by a thousand which would be more readable if you had the large type of reports notice that it's like 2.1 at this point in time so 2.1 thousand that would be you could also go up top and then customize it and if we removed the sense it'll take that that decimal out as well so if i remove the sense it will then take the decimal out so if i go back up and customize it again let's put it back to where we started We've got that out and I'm going to keep that. We're going to accept the zero amounts. I'm going to keep that as the default as well. Run the report. So there we have it again. So we're back to our normal space. Now, the other thing you might want to do is remove the pennies. So maybe we don't want to divide by a thousand, but we just want to take off the cents because possibly the cents is something. Both of these options, dividing by a thousand or removing the cents may clean up the reports make them easier to see and if they're not going to impact the decision making process then it could be a, it could be a nice thing to do so we're going to go up back up top and i'm going to customize it again and i'm going to remove the sense now i'm going to run it this is often useful for external reporting these kind of things are often useful for external reporting 
because then again it cleans up the report a little bit making it easier to read for internal reporting you might want to have some more of that detail in there possibly so that's in in any case that's generally my default we'll talk about in the future how you might want to save and customize reports and possibly keep in mind as you do so the reports that you want to, be, to look and feel for an internal report basis as you do data input and see the impact on the reports versus the external basis what you're doing and then giving for external use now the negative numbers you can represent the negative numbers with negatives you can put the negative on the right hand side i kind of like the brackets to emphasize it a little bit more so if we had a negative number, then it would be now populated with a bracket around it. So we have the negative down here. You can also make the negative stand out even more by making them red. So we could go up and customize and say, I want to make the negative numbers red and bracketed. So I'm going to say run that report. So now they're going to be red and bracketed down below, emphasizing them a bit more. Again, this could be, you might have different preferences for internal report uses and external report uses with regards to these types of items as well. Scrolling back up top, notice that you don't have quite as much options with regards to the, like the font type and that kind of stuff as you do with the desktop version. They actually give you some color coding and stuff that you can do you don't have quite as much of the flexibility uh, here with that however of course you can export the reports to excel and add some more of those touches as well and uh, just a little little kind of variance in in the reports can customize the reports a lot and can and can go a long way as to make them a little bit more customized we'll also talk about the exporting the reports in the future to excel and think about how you can customize one in excel and also how you can basically use excel to print multiple reports basically into one pdf file without having you know an advanced software advanced uh, adobe writer or something like that to do it and, and again, these types of things, the, the presentation of the reports when you're a bookkeeper or when you're working internally are going to be one of the big things you need to do. We, you want to present it to someone so it doesn't overwhelm them so that they can have the files that they can put together easily. And, so, and also so it kind of stands out a little bit possibly from other reports with a little bit of personal touch to it possibly. And so just putting some negatives around it and making them, them bracketed and reducing or removing the pennies can do a little bit of that. If we go into the rows and columns, this is where we got that, that uh, total rows and the active rows. We saw that information on the right-hand side, so I'm not going to go into that in detail. And then we've got the active items. Again, we saw this in the prior presentations because it's also right here. you got the change, the columns. Uh, information and now you've got the previous period the change and so on and we saw that as well in the prior section that area is right up top uh, here as well so you can do all that stuff it's kind of repeated in the custom as well as up top in this basically the ribbon area at this point in time obviously QuickBooks could change that and change the look and feel whenever they want. <laughs> so, but those general options you would think would be remaining because they're good options. So in future presentations, we'll go on to the filtering options a bit and then go into the header and footer information.